You, what's your point? So uh, no one an talks ostrich about it hasn't seen the sun in ten years because they're looking at the the fucking sand. Does that mean anything? No, it doesn't mean anything. It just means you're looking at the sand, so and that's your problem. It doesn't have anything to do with anything about else. It doesn't mean it's not relevant. Smells good. Hate it. You want to hit it? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Inhale it, though, okay? I don't know about all that. Yeah, you got to. Inhale it. There you go. Now we're cooking the books. Now we're cooking. Oh, you need more. Way more than that. Right, those. Here, I'll light it up for you, buddy. It was already lit. I already hit it. I'm done. That's it. No. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. oh. <coughs> he can't ha- He can't handle it. He can't handle his own, his own, <coughs> he can't handle his own weed. So what you get for buying lace weed? I can handle it. Watch. Lace with what you say? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Illegal. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's over here dying. <laughs> Count him out. Holy shit. One, two. Buckle my three. shoe. Okay. Three. Four. Tears in the eyes, still rhyming. Remember that? Have you ever seen that meme on uh, TikTok or whatever? One of those scrollers that where the kid starts singing the Buckle My Shoe song? No. It's so cringe. It's funny. What's it? A, we're not going to throw it. We're is there not, context gonna, to this? Yeah, because I just said one, two, Buckle My Shoe. No, and it reminded no, me of saying, that. Like, what's the meme? <clears throat> so the meme is, is, it literally is just that? it's a video where this guy's like, yo, it's like the high school kid or maybe like a middle school, like, a, you know, it's. 15 year old kid or something mm. not really attractive looks like a young no offense a young massimo you could say and uh damn you know nice guy just not the most classically attractive and he's wearing this weird outfit like yourself with the dad exactly mustache. exactly <laughs> exactly daddy they call you know it it's actually coming back in style the daddy heavily. mustache heavily well i've been seeing a lot of stuff on instagram where guys are doing just a mustache it's called uh the porn stash, but it's actually a oh. positive thing, though. Well, I've been so when I was here's funny. So we're forget about the buckle my shoe thing. We'll go back to that. So remind me if you remember. But when I was younger, now not to, I'm not trying to brag or anything, but when I, I used to get, I used to always make the look. Like you, you ever see The Office? You never see anything, but The Office. I love you the know office. Jim from The Office. You yeah. know he'd always look at the camera and make those faces. Yeah. So I used to always make those fa- same faces, and this like on to, my own to what. Just like when something, you know, when something when someone embarrassing happens, you like look to your friend and you're like, oh, yeah, you know, that the gym face. But like before the show came out, it's just like a face people make. Mm -hmm. But like apparently I kind of looked like him or I did or whatever at one point in my life. And so people were like, they would say you look like uh, John Krasinski. They said no, not not Krasinski. You look like um, here comes the insult. Hmm. Johnny Sins. So my so the point of the story is I used to get called John Krasinski and then when I went bald people started saying, "Oh, you look like Johnny Sins." And I'm like, "Huh?" So, yeah, just because he's bald basically. And this is a porn star of by all the, way. the people, yeah. Johnny Sins. That's the one I this get now. 6 foot 8, brolic built as a motherfucker, bald Sexy. porn star just because you're both bald. Well, we got the same face. Apparently, I don't know if it's true. You've seen him. You know that's not true. I don't think it looks. I think I look much more like Krasinski than uh, Sins. First, I mean, not I that I like think you. I don't think you look like Krasinski either. I don't really think I look like him that Krasinski much. Got like a big nose. I, I think I have a big nose. Actually, you don't have a big nose. I, you have a normal. For my Krasinski has got like a big nose. For my traits, I always say, think that my nose is a little big, and I tell people, Dwight. And then they say <laughs> they say my nose isn't that big. So your nose know. isn't big, but I think like it's, my dad's nose is big. It's a little bulbous, and it's a little Krasinski esque. You could say I think. I don't. I mean, I'm not trying to be like that guy. I don't give a fuck. I'm just saying. I don't see people it. said that when I used to do the face, and I go, "He stole that from me. I didn't start doing that, or he didn't start doing that before I did. I've been doing that." I'm trying to think. Who do you look like? I also got. I'm not going to say this one, but another 
handsome guy. I'm like, where's all the ugly guys? Who? Johnny Sins, you know? Who? <laughs> this one doesn't even make sense. I'm not even going to say it. Say it. Daredevil. I don't know. Uh, What's his name? Uh, I mean, I know who you're talking about, but I don't know the actor. actor. I don't know. <clears throat> I, I'm i trying to think who who you, who you I can actually say you look like. I just can't see I'm just anything. one of a kind, bro. You're literally one of a kind because I can't even think of anything. Now, so they're going to start saying in the future, oh, you look like P Funktastic or Pat, you know? Yo, do you know? So I was watching episode one. Ooh, that's a good one. And one of our best. Did you, do you remember that? So when we first started this whole thing, we had, we like came up with our own nicknames because we didn't want to use our own names on the podcast or whatever. No, we didn't come up with our own nicknames. A- no, we used like that. nicknames that we not already like had. That. No, no, no. Oh, okay. But I'm saying like we had to have like, <coughs> we, we wanted used... to have aliases. Right, right, right. right. Yeah, we didn't so, want to use our normal names. So we didn't want to use our own normal names. And literally in episode one, I said Michael Cerigliano in episode one. And I said it again in episode three. Like, I just keep repeating my name. Yeah. So, like, if any of the anyone wants to find me, they got me. Sure. We've said Rochester. Fair. We've said AT&T. <laughs> we've said Michael Sorigliano. I mean, you got it all. You just, the only thing you don't have in my social at this point. But anyway. Uh, listen, when we started. One, two, six, eight, four, seven. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Actually, so far, you're nailing the head. I don't want to finish it. You're nailing the I head so far, it. which is crazy. Because I did not expect that. That's impressive as shit, and I don't know how the fuck. Wait, you wait, wait, wait. You literally, to a T, just hit it. You're joking. And I thought you were, I was literally sitting here like, how? How does he know? <laughs> You're kidding. You're but anyway, lying. anyway, anyway. So the first episode I'm a we psychic, were talking. Bro. I'm a cancer, Scorpio cancer, bro. Anyway, so we were talking, and you came up with P-Funk immediately. You were like, yep, yeah, P-Funk. Well, yeah. And I was like, oh, it's not original. You're like, yeah, it's original. I made it, and true. And then I, original. I, I didn't. You were like, what's your nickname? <laughs> and I said, Michael. <laughs> and nice. you were like, that's not a nickname. That's not good. And we argued for a minute and settled on because you were like, I don't know how it came to be, but we like we talked about like Sprint and all of that. You're like, I came up with MC2. Our history, yeah. And I was like, you didn't come up with MC2. We're Which talking about it. But we settled on MC2 because I couldn't think of a name for myself. So I said, I just said Michael, and you were like, no, no, no. And you were like, MC2. So Which was the your nickname. Why we have videos titled MC2, and we got times when we talk to each other, and I refer to myself, or you refer to me as MC2, is literally because you decided that my name on this show would be MC2. Otherwise, it would have been Michael. We both agreed, but yeah. Because we've we've also called each other by our, our legal name. Sure, sure. But you said MC2 is what we're doing. And I'm like, yeah, that's you my agreed. nickname. Yeah, I was like, yeah, that's my nickname. And it was your nickname. We only, call you MC2. The only nicknames I've ever had in my entire life are Italia and MC2. That is Wait. literally it. Oh, See? and. Uh-oh. Oh, I know. Cigarillo. What about no? There's more. What about the <laughs> nicknames Massimo gave you? You got more. Hold run on, it, let's, run it up. Let's pause. Run it up. What about uh, Dumbbell Dumbbell Rigliano? <laughs> what about Dumbbell Rigliano? Yeah, good one. What about non-Steelers fan Rigliano? Good one. What about fake Steelers fan Rigliano? Why are they all to do with the Steelers? Well, because Massimo and because even Dumbbell Rigliano because you was flaked at Steelers. us, you flaked at us that one time, and Massimo was there, and he doesn't forget. You know what he does forget to do? Wash his underwear. I don't know. Watch this. Ooh, oh, he doesn't forget to watch it. He just he'd rather watch wrestling. Wrestling is on twice a week. He'd rather watch Looney Tunes. That's way more funny than us talking. Here's the thing about Massimo. you're his brother. <laughs> Here's one thing I'll say about Massimo, and I got to respect it. He always tells me the same thing, and he never has – he's never changed his view once. Is uh, I've known him for 10 years, as much as I've known you, basically. Maybe longer. Yeah, you actually have known Massimo. As much, but as long. But, yeah, so basically, whenever he's talking about, like, where he wants to do and where he wants to put his attention, it's always the ladies – and <clears throat> when he talks about, he's always like, 
I'm not going to watch a bunch of dudes. I like ladies. So for that reason, you know, we're, we're two dudes. Why would he watch a couple of dudes? It's kind of uh, gay, according to Massimo, because the where's the ladies? He likes the ladies. He's not going to watch a couple brothers. He wants to see the ladies. You understand? And you got to respect that. You got to respect it. That's a man's choice. The audio that just occurred just now has got to be fucking phenomenal. That's God tier. And that's how he sounds. Um, no, the way you like dramatically toned your voice down and brought the mic to you so you could say it. <laughs> I'm actually excited to edit this video so I could hear that. But true story. What I was saying, what I was going to say is wrestling is all men. Not true. It's because, 90% no, now. <coughs> Still because dying every from that time, weed, though. I know, because every time I talk to him, and we talk on the phone once a month or sometimes more. Like a doctor's he'll appointment call me up, We'll have a conversation, and he'll say, you know, brother, you know what I'm going to be watching tonight? And if it's a wrestling night, I'll say, oh, KJ? Because KJ, if anyone knows, and I can't remember her real name now, Kiana James, maybe something like that, is a female wrestler who wears glasses, just like Brother Mo, by the way. That's where they have the glasses connection. Uh, she's a very sexy female wrestler, and he's not watching wrestling to watch, you know, Hulk Hogan get the ultimate wrestler or whatever. These new guys. So that, far in the past. <laughs> Hulk Hogan's the best you could do? He's the best that's ever been done. All right. The all right. Rock still even wrestles. Whoa, you could have hit that one. Never say the pebble in my presence. I'm talking about maybe Stone Cold Steve Austin. He, he doesn't cool. wrestle anymore. I'm just saying. Those guys were cool. Randy Orton, Rey Mysterio, John Cena. You could have done it Rey all. Rey Mysterio. You that's did none one. of that. You did Hulk Hogan. I don't like John Cena. Why? And I, he, He's another shill. I hate to say it. He's I'm not on sure. the list. <laughs> yeah, See, choke on that's that. That's a sign. Yeah, exactly. Ask him why he speaks Chinese fluently. Why? Why does he speak Chinese fluently? He's a communist. He's part of them. I think he is. This is all hypothetical, guys. I don't know. Our country's had the same John, way. Listen, John, I could be wrong. You know, correct me. I could be wrong. But the stuff that you're doing, the, all the you know, bowing down to China stuff. What? The fact that he's in every movie. He's one of yeah. He's it, in every movie? He's in, been in a lot of movies for a guy who can't act and is a shit actor. Yeah, he couldn't, shouldn't be in any movie. I could name five that are shit actors that are in every movie. And they're probably, on, they're probably dirty, too. Kevin Hart? Dirty. Next. He's not on the list. Who Cat, who Cat Williams spent all his time talking about? Yeah, but he's not on the list. He wears the dress. Yeah. He wore the so dress. So did John Cena. <clears throat> exactly. They both wore the dress. That's the sign. Duh. Brad Pitt. Yeah, not probably. On, not on the list. No dress. Well, then he's, a, he's one of the good ones. Tom Cruise. Does his own stunts. Exactly. So, so you think John Cena's... Listen, we can disagree on I think Cena. acting is the least talented thing you could possibly do in life ever. That's a stupid thing to so say. So for you to say that someone's a bad actor, like John Cena's a bad actor, he's as good, I would say, as Brad Pitt. Dumbest John argument Cena of all just time? happens to always play like this alpha male machismo guy, and Brad Pitt always ends up playing like some fucking... Or no, not Brad Pitt. Every time John Cena speaks, you think, oh, this guy's remembering a line. When Brad Pitt speaks, you're thinking, oh, he's uh, doing something. He's a, This guy's a, a John character. Cena has They're been in movies that are very good. Is, first of all, to say that acting... You could, so you What's say acting the, is the hardest thing? part about acting? Coming, I'm asking I'll, someone who went to school part. and took acting here's, classes... What is the hardest part about acting? Go Here's on. the hardest part about acting. Making it look like you're, you're not. No, wrong. Remembering your lies. Wrong, 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 wrong. A good actor is someone who you don't think that they're acting. If you're watching an actor act, you're like, wow, look at him act. You're, he failed. If you're watching someone and you're believing the character and you're like, 
I believe what he's saying. That's good acting. If you if they're talking and you're like, this guy's clearly just barely trying to figure out his la- next line. That's not you don't notice the difference. Between, first of all, you've seen 10 movies in your entire life. So to act like you have some sort of expertise on acting is like insane. You've only seen five people do it. You're the hipster of movie viewers. So you only not watch the new movies. Not true. Yeah, you watch Shaolin Then why did Soccer. I? Shaolin is not new. That's it's, like in the 90s. It's 1990 I'm saying something. that's like a low budget movie. Oh, you, you just watch said, low budget You just movies. said I just watch all the new movies. And no, then no, no. I said you hipster. switched it hipster. To, to, old, to the hipster. You just said the new movies a I second ago. I meant new actors. Yeah, Stephen Chow is a new actor. This guy's fucking 70 years old. Now. How many movies have you been in? He, Two. He makes his own movies, and he's been in wow. probably at least. So he's as good of an actor as Steven Spielberg. Better. What? Exactly. Because he makes his own movies. Right. Oh, my God. Exactly. For people who watch movies, I apologize for this guy. I really do. But he doesn't know. He doesn't understand. I understand perfectly. He has no idea what he's talking about. The hardest part about he acting is remembering your lines. That's the that's no that's a prerequisite yes. to acting. That's not the hardest Pre, thing. A prerequisite to acting is yes. remembering lines. Correct. So breathing. If you can't, if you don't know your lines, you can't act. If you if you if are you try- can't remember lines, you, you can't, can't act. Live. You're in a hospital bed in a coma. That's like tier one. That's like the base of you existence. You give this guy a half a hit of weed, and look what happens to the him. The base of existence is oh, I can remember fifty lines at a time. Exactly. Base of existence. That's why I said it's a prerequisite. Prerequisite. Right. You have to know the lines in order to even consider acting. Remembering the lines is nothing. Ever anyone can do that. Yeah, and anyone it's can about, act like they know the lines, but they're not acting. No, they can't. Say the they same. They can't say the same thing four hundred times and tell me you don't got it so locked so in that you sound like. Have it's you just seen you. a movie before? Yeah, I can name. Have you a seen whole a bad bunch. movie before? Yeah. How do you know it's bad? Because I watched it. Shaolin Soccer. It's trash. Horrible. Not even funny. How do you know a movie's bad? Can you tell the difference? Because it's not entertaining. How do you know? Can you tell the so? You, so in your mind, there's no difference between a good actor and a bad actor. They're just all the same. Basically. So you couldn't tell the. So if I if showed it makes you, it into the cinemas, they're a good actor. Yikes. Name How? one movie that made it to fucking Barbie. AMC. Who's bad? Margot Robbie? Who, she's a no, bad I'm actress? Talking of... What? Huh? Is she the bad actress? Margot Robbie? Oh, I thought you were going to say a bad movie that made it into the thing. We're talking about acting. All right. Margo... No, You're she's telling a, me she's a good actress. Margot Robbie, who's one of the top female actresses in the fucking all right, all right, world. Bad example. Bad, bad example. Because the acting in that movie wasn't bad. It was everything else that was oh, bad. Oh, the plot. Well, yeah, the plot. Yeah, the plot is a problem. But the ba- ba- okay, okay. You, so you're, act- is you're asking me to name a movie. Name a movie. AMC, pause, pause, who pause, the pause. actors were acting poorly. <clears throat> okay, okay. So we're run think it about up. Popular movies that came out recently. What's what's okay? Let's you know, actually, about, you pause, know who's a bad I'm thinking, actor. I'm thinking, I'm you thinking. know who's a bad actor? Conor McGregor. That one I could tell he's a bad actor because well, he was in that new movie with uh, Jake. How Gyllenhaal. do you know he's bad though? Because you can ju- his cadence is off. Everything ah, is unnatural. So you ah. Aha, uh-huh. so we're we're coming to an agreement here. But John Cena's pause, not that. Pause. Yes, he is. He no, is. he's not. Maybe not. Because I can say Conor McGregor not is. Not to the level, maybe not to the level that Conor. So it's it's a spectrum, right? Yeah, you there's, don't know about the spectrum. Yeah, I do. Yeah. So there's the Conor McGregor's. Let's say he's at the end of the, it's obvious that he's acting. Yes. Do you see what I mean when I say you can tell he's acting? Yes. He's trying to remember his lines and he's not really like living them. No, just, he's being Conor. Yeah, That's right. the problem. He's not really like acting. He's just like right. saying the lines. Correct. So, th- and then there's someone else. Like, I don't know an example of an actor that you think is good or something, but you've seen. You know, good actors. But you've seen. I'm saying, have you personally yourself seen a movie where you were like, "Damn, that was good." Yeah, millions. So, like, can you think of an actor or a, a Joaquin? Okay, so you can see how there's a difference between Joaquin and Conor McGregor. Right. You believe Joaquin is like becoming this person yeah where this other guy's like faking it right they're but they're both faking it right but he's just faking it better yeah 
So to say that like there's no skill involved, there is a difference between you. He's he's making you. So the hardest. So you asked me earlier, what's the hardest thing to do as an actor? Mm-hmm. The the most important thing is to make them believe you. He's doing the same thing. They're both reading the lines. But why do you believe him and you don't believe him? It's not easy to just make people believe. I'm about to blow your mind. I'm sure you think you are. Joaquin Phoenix has been doing it. For okay. his whole fucking so life. So now the argument and Connor's is. Connor's been doing it for. Wait. Wait for it. A fucking month. Okay. So the new argument is <clears throat> with enough time, anyone can be the best actor or anything i can argue that if you gave me a year to be we know you think you i'd be an actor yes but you actually i hate i hate to say this i really hate to say this especially to this guy but you actually compliment coming. yeah there is a compliment coming and that's the problem (laughs) you actually have a the chops. You could be an actor. You could be a comedian. <laughs> you actually have the it factor that is involved. Catch me on the fucking so Hollywood Walk you of could Stars, do brother. You could do it. I know. But there's people who McGregor might could never do it. Might could never. Mike yes, could I know never. what I said. But you know what I meant. No, McGregor could and never. He might could never. So there's someone. But, so you understand there's a difference. But don't touch my fingers, you little freak. One <laughs> hit a weed. This guy wants to give me the freaking. Weed. But <laughs> Conor McGregor is a phenomenal actor in the sense that when he was younger, hear me out. I'm listening. When he was younger, he was a very humble fighter, mm-hmm. and he played a character to become the Conor McGregor that we know. The who the fuck is this guy? Mm-hmm. Is Connor playing a part? Throwing chairs at a bus is Connor playing a part. I wouldn't say he's Connor, playing a when part. He was I was starting would... fighting when he first came out in the UFC. He was humble. humble and he was quiet and he wouldn't talk shit. But then he realized. I'm gonna push back. Hold big on. on this. If I act like a fucking asshole, I can sell tickets. Was he acting like an asshole before he started winning, though? No. My thing is, it's not that he just changed his personality because he wanted to. It's that he went from a nobody who wasn't winning anything to I'm number one, and his personality changed. He changed. You know, they right. say, like, people get famous. Oh, you changed? Sometimes it does happen. Power gets to you. The ego gets too big. I'm That's why I don't that. want to talk I'm about this guy that. because I know I'm he's the kind of that. guy who doesn't know how to handle his ego, clearly. <laughs> He's a he's a little weird too sometimes, but not even that, bro. <laughs> he doesn't understand that like, ah, uh, you're just a uh, fucking uh, motherfucker. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Arnold. But all that to say, Connor's a bad actor, but Connor in his element is a phenomenal actor. John Cena, in my opinion, no. based on the movies that he's been in, because you can't sit here and be like. Oh, John Cena has been in like he fucking 007 where he needs to play something he's, he's not. He's not a good he's actor. He's being cast for roles. He's not that, a good actor. He's being cast for roles that are. Go ahead. The Rock is better than him. He's being cast for roles that are specifically made for John Cena, which is why he's and good. And he still fails. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. Name one movie so, he's bad in. Um, every single one he's one. been in. Name um, one. The, uh, the one with uh, where oh, they're like the name. Will Ferrell. Because I don't watch these shitty movies. Will Ferrell. Not Will Ferrell. Will Smith. And Will they're Smith. they're playing superheroes. Huh? Yes. Yes. You can huh me all day. He is in a superhero movie with Will Smith. Oh, that Thank stupid you. fucking. Uh, yeah, I know what you're talking okay. about. Okay. So there's one example. Black Adam or what? No, that was Rock. <laughs> yeah. But you get uh, the Suicide Squad. Well, yeah, but if you if you take a bad movie, he's cool. a bad actor, dude. No, 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 no. So like, let me, because let, he was got to let me talk he because in, you're saying a lot of yeah, stuff. But what about as a man who's never about, seen more than what 10 about, movies? What about what about what's it called? Stepfather? Stepdaddy? Stepbrothers? No, no, no. He was in a movie where Will Ferrell was in the movie and he was the like that was Mark dad. Wahlberg, actually. And he's a good actor. No, he was Mark Wahlberg's girlfriend's baby dad. So Mark Wahlberg is a good actor. John Cena is a bad actor. So let me just 
the only thing I want to say, because I know you're going to go on and on, I just want to say one thing. I am someone who likes movies, and sure, you know, I've seen a lot of movies. I talk about Hulk because I've seen old movies. I talk about, you know, the few, whatever. The point is, I've seen a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of movies, and I have strong opinions on movies because I've experienced a lot of movies. And you admittedly have only seen 20 to 50 movies at the most in your entire life, and that's okay. But to say that you... Well, first of all, you're saying that John Cena is a good actor. So, first of all, your credibility is already done. But even if, uh, even without that, you haven't seen enough movies to really be able to gauge what a good actor is. You haven't experienced enough acting to be able to have a good opinion. And I don't say that because you haven't. I say that because your opinion is that John Cena is a good actor. And I think if you if – if, comments, guys, please. If we if, – if anyone who watches movies – Nobody who likes movies is going to say that John Cena is a good actor. And there's a reason. It's not because we're all a bunch of haters. There's reasons he's not that good. And it's, it's okay. If you saw more movies, your opinion on his acting would change. He, you would put him closer to the McGregor scale than the whoever you consider good, the, the Phoenix. Name your top three actors of all time. Daniel Day Lewis. I want to say uh, the Godfather, but I mean that's cliche. No, I haven't seen enough name. of his. No, 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 uh, Marlon Brando. But I don't know. I don't know if I want to say him, even though he probably is in the top three. I would say if I had to say who are the bo- the top three of all time, it'd be Marlon Brando. It would be, and then who's the third one? For the modern age, Joaquin is a really, really good pick, actually. Yeah. Um, it's tough to put him up with those two. I feel like there's got to be someone else. I could put I could put him up there. I'll say Mel Gibson. I'll say Mel Gibson, Marlon Brando, and Daniel Day Lewis. Yeah. Now I have to ask you one question following that. Mm-hmm. Who the fuck is Daniel Day Lewis? I rest my case. No, no, no. I've heard the name. I rest my movie case. Or what character? Uh, the Last of the Mohicans. Never heard, saw it. Okay. Gangs of New York. Never saw it. A ma- you would really like that movie. Because I'm Italian, I get it. Keep no. Going. Keep going. You would actually like it. All right. You would actually like that one. Keep going. One of my favorite movies. All right. Continue. Uh, Lincoln. Nope. He was Lincoln. He won an Academy Award for that one. Um, My Left Foot. Nope. Where he played a retarded nope. guy who, you know, had Continue. some problems. The point is what? You don't know his movies. Not even the point. I just want to know who he is because I'm trying to like make a point here. But I don't know who Daniel Day-Lewis is. I've heard uh, it a million times. He's, a, he's won two Oscars. Wait, you're telling he's me a, the most famous movie he was in is Lincoln? Or I just My said Left The Last Foot? of the Mohicans, which is one of the uh, most famous movies all right, of all time. All right, second most famous then. The Gangs of New York, dude. Is he an older actor? He's a, he's not in every movie. He's a, is he's he a older? G. He, now Marlon he's Brando? Like 60. Now he's no, no, no. There was the Brando era, and then he was like, he's uh, in our era, kind of. He's he's right, twenty so. years older than DiCaprio, you could say. And I would put DiCaprio up there as a good actor, not okay. not on that level, but so very good. Your idea of a good actor is the most elite range. actors. Well, range. Right. The, so you're people, telling me that John Cena, garbage. Is trash. No range. But we're talking about Marlon Brando, Leo. We're talking about Joaquin yeah. Phoenix. Gods of acting. Yeah. So, like, yeah, John Cena's not Joaquin Phoenix. He's but not John even... Cena's not, like, Conor McGregor either. He's very close to McGregor. I don't know. If you, if you see... We disagree, but you don't have any what's basis it called? on that your disagreement. with him and Jake Gyllenhaal? Um, uh, Beauty and the Beast, I think they call no, that no, 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 no. It's a... Uh... Because this guy's a beast. He sucks. He's a garbage. It's a, oh, fuck. I forgot the name. Yeah. It's literally forgettable. in Family Guy so many times. We can call it the forgettable movie because no. how forgettable Jake he is. Jake Gyllenhaal is great. 
Yeah, I like Jake Gyllenhaal. I fuck with him. I mean, what was your favorite Jake Gyllenhaal movie? Oh, I was about to say his best movie was his first movie. Well, his first big one. What is it? Why was it your favorite? Because it was about time travel. Do you even know the movie we're talking about? Um, with a bunny rabbit. What the fuck was it called? Must not be that good. Chill, go to the next chill. One. No, no, no. Stop. Go to stop. the next one. Go to the stop. next one. People watching who not, like movies. The, the oh, what the fuck is it called? The time travel movie. His first big movie. Oh, so good. Back to the, the future. The other one. Yeah, no. The other one that I like about Jill and Hall. I'm not a huge Jill and Hall guy, but um, Nightcrawler was good. All right. Any other ones you really liked? For him, I think he was in Jarhead. I didn't think that was that good. Um, now the first one with the bunny was really fire. I don't think Jake Gyllenhaal's that. I mean, he's he's. I like him. Jake Gyllenhaal's a great actor. No, I like I like, but he's not like one of my, you know. Southpaw was phenomenal. People. You know what I heard that? You know what that was? What a that sequel was? to. Oh, what Creed? No, no, <laughs> no. <What> a sequel. <laughs> Southpaw was a sequel to. To what? It's gonna blow your. You think you blew my mind? Get ready for your mind to be blown. Don't say Rocky. No, 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 no. This is gonna. I said it's gonna blow your mind. Southpaw. Yeah, Rocky. You're thinking about boxing movies. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Eight Mile. How? Google it. Yeah. But how? That's Eminem. How? That's Eminem in that movie. How? They don't even like coincide a little bit. A guy who, yeah, it's the same movie. They tell him he can't do it. He does it anyway. That's every movie. Well, that's Rocky. So you're telling Eminem. That's Rambo. So you're telling Eminem he can't. Oh, he. Oh, you can't rap. And he says, "Watch me, move yourself in the moon, all that shit." And then my spaghetti, all that. Then, oh, you can't box. Watch me. I'm a southpaw, bitch. And then they say, you can't make the movie because you're Eminem. And they say, all right, fuck it. Give it to Dylan Hall. True story. Yeah. That is what's up. So your favorite boxing movie is about Eminem. Mind, but at the same time, like, I don't. Does it disappoint you? Yeah. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. Eminem. That's like in Eminem's wheelhouse. Like, that's his mind. The mind of Eminem. Like, Southpaw is just so polar opposite to Eight Mile. Think about Eminem as, like, the writer of Southpaw. You can't imagine Eminem can coming that. up in that story? Yeah, but, like, that's a basic action movie storyline. Like, guy action? who's not great, gets great, works hard because something happened, works so hard he becomes the best, wins. It's called shonen anime. Why do you think anime is so popular? Every anime, every shonen is like that. The little kid sucks, and then he be every works movie out and, is like that. Not every movie, but that that genre is. There's like There's like that. a handful of movies that end like in a negative tone. You know, like, well, no one likes negative. Most movies end usually. happy, which means the the guy who started at the bottom is at the top of that movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Always, even like in that movie with John Cena and Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell's at the bottom of the beginning. He's, he's now he's friends with all these guys. Like it's always the same shit. Ugh. Even but John, Elf. But, Elf is the same fight. Like, every movie John is the Cena same shit. still is corny from the beginning to end. And he's one of he's one of them, dude. Who them? They're he's, all one of them. Give me a fucking break. I mean, Pharaoh. All Pharaoh, your favorite actors are one of them. Give me a fucking break. Well, probably. But to still, make it in Hollywood, you got to be one of them somehow. Not, well, not, I mean. Name one. Chappelle seems to have ran Chappelle away from Chappelle has he, he, done nothing recently. Yeah, because he said no. So now what? He's so that's why he's done nothing recently. A man recently. of the people, but he's not in movies? Good congratulations. Bro. So you, are, you, are you missing the point completely? I'm the saying. Point is we're talking about famous if, Hollywood actors, and Chappelle is the person you said because he's not like doing that. But like, no, he's no, also in the like, same breath. Not getting work because of MC2. Yes, of course. He's not getting work because he said no to the deal. Okay. Great job. Rosa Parks. Why are you saying great job? Like sarcastically, that's that's that is a great commendable, but it's not going to make you a better actor. I don't care what you've done for the people. You're an actor. You're not. Oh, so we're still on who's a good actor. We're talking about acting. Yeah. Oh, I moved on to a new topic. No, I'm not talking about like 
social problems, no. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I'm not saying Dave Chappelle's the best actor, but I think he, as a comedic actor, he's fucking hilarious. Yeah, he is. Well, not as an actor. I don't like his acting. Have you seen that half baked? The Chappelle Show. I've seen it all. It's all fucking. So trash. you don't think he was funny? He's funny, but in like a fun, trash. in like a corny way. He's not wow. funny in like a. Okay, okay. Like, this is interesting. This is interesting. I'll, I'll say it like this, right? Have you ever seen uh, Think Like a Man? No, I already do that. I don't have to watch a movie to tell me how to do it. So you've never seen the Steve Harvey, oh. Kevin Hart movie, Think Like a Man? Hell so Kevin no. Hart is that. in Think Like a Man. He's yeah. funny, but he's not like corny funny. He's just funny. But to be fair, his entire persona is corny. He is corny, yeah. yeah. But like he's funny, but he's not like trying. Okay. He's not doing like the Kevin Hart shit. He's just funny. Well, he's someone else. Chappelle's was- literally like over the top corny, which not happens corny. to be funny. The fucking crack I would guy. I not call that corny. The crack guy. Like the, the racial That's shit. Not corny. It's corny. It's not acting. It's like it's skits. Like it's mad TV. That's all it is. And mad TV was funny. Okay, so but you're it's saying. Corny. So you're. So what I'm hearing is. It's funny because you say these things. You're like making this one point. But then it turns out you're actually making a different point that you don't even realize you're making. It seems like. I feel like you're making the point that says. Uh, TV shows that are sketch comedy are corny. Correct. That's what you're saying. Yeah, which is what they're so made to do. So we're not talking because because we're talking about Dave Chappelle. We're talking yeah. about humans, and then it went from this person to this type of comedy. You don't appreciate. No, you don't, I appreciate it, but you can't call someone who does like. For example, you can't what? say you can't pull so someone stupid. from Mad TV and be like. That's a phenomenal actor. It could be they're acting poorly, dude. The whole okay. Th- like so SNL, do you, do you or do poorly. you not? Do you or do you not like the movies that fucking Jim Carrey is in? Yeah. So, you, so your his acting would you say is good for the roles he gets? Yes. Like it's he's I doing the part. I couldn't see Jim Carrey in 007, but well, I can course, see Jim Carrey being an absolute caricature in Ace Ventura. On, yes, he's doing it on purpose. Yes. right? So you. And he started on a, a comedy show that was sketch comedy. Yeah. So you're like, but they don't your all whole argument. But your whole argument is like, if you're doing sketch comedy, like you're not funny or something. But then you're like, you're talking about Dave Chappelle and fucking. I'm not saying you're not funny. Sketch <laughs> comedy is funny. What? Sketch comedy just doesn't translate to acting. Will Ferrell. Right. There are ones that have done it. Some of the most funny comedians on the movies. Yeah, they're because people, they're funny already. And they all came from sketches. Yes, because they're already funny on those sketches. So don't yes. talk shit about sketches. But the sketches are corny. It's weird regardless. that you are that you hate the fact that you hate sketches. I don't hate has it. Noth- or that I you, used to watch Man TV sketches are, every fucking yeah, weekend. You think they're corny though. Yeah, they are. And that's fine, but like that shouldn't affect the way you think of someone's acting. I feel like you're you're taking Oh, this guy's a bad actor. Jim Carrey. And you're I'll saying right now, because Jim, they did Jim sketches. Carrey, one of the greatest. There's, there's no correlation. One of the greatest actors of all time. Back now, you're he, saying he's the, one of the greatest actors when, of all time. When his when he started, he was only being cast as like the over the top, ha ha funny guy. Yeah, and that's how he's which been is his whole phenomenal. Career. Yeah. But like when he's in, for example, Bruce Almighty, he's not over the top funny anymore. But like in Dumb and Dumber, in Ace Ventura, he's like. Ignorantly over the top funny, right? Yeah. Because he was and? cast from that. But so you what's your point? See, because I don't. That's not good acting. You're just acting as you already I'm are. Not saying that we we got into a whole another. We're topic. talking about acting. You're talking about Chappelle. I said Chappelle's not a good actor. He's funny. His sketch comedy's good. But I'm saying he's not a good actor. Because we're talking about actors and acting. Well, I wouldn't say that. Well, we got into a whole another thing. We got a whole other of thing. what. Well, we started talking about who's funny, what type of comedy is good. I'm talking about actors and acting still. Well, you then just let's brought get back up to Chappelle, Daniel. which is a joke of a guy. Well, then let's – a joke of a guy. He's a funny guy. That's his thing. He's a funny guy. Andrew Dice Clay in the movie, he could do it great. He's a funny guy. Sebastian Maniscalco, he's a fucking joke, but he's a funny guy, and he's in movies. So you, It's all the same jo- shit. So, so you think comedians are jokes? Their entire thing is being a joke. Yes, but – there's a difference between telling jokes and being a joke. You're saying that if you tell jokes, you Whatever. are a joke. Whatever. They're, no, they're this, funny. Is, this is they're, important they're, they're, they're because jokey. you're saying that comedians are not to be taken seriously. Correct. They're, they're just a joke. Correct. They're just a bums, basically. Absolutely. Okay. Wow. 
This is very interesting. Now, what are you going to say about that? No, I'm just, this, you're Mr. talking about Comedian. me. Well, because this is me. Yeah. So because I don't take things seriously, you think I'm a joke. If you were a comedian, you'd be a joke. That doesn't make sense, though. If my career huh? is telling jokes, I am then a joke? Correct. <laughs> Explain with more words than just e- correct. How? So, all right, let's 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 do it like this. Yeah. We got Andrew Dice Clay. Andrew okay. Dice Rated- Clay. The Hulk Hogan of examples, standing, by the way. Standing right here in front of a podium. What year are we then, in? Then we're in infinite time. Oh, well. And then yeah. you have Brad Pitt here standing in front of a podium. And they're both telling you something serious. Okay. So Andrew Dice Clay sitting there. Hey, yo, hey, yo. <laughs> oh, right, no. the, oh. the economy's going to fucking shit over the year. And hey. then Brad Pitt is talking. Which one which one of them do you take more seriously given the con- prior context you already know? Well, it would depend on how they said it. So let's say, for instance... Let's say Andrew Dice Clay just came out well, of that, fucking nowhere. No other actor even in sight. And he's just like, we're about well, to go gonna, to war. Yeah, Are I'm you going to be like, this. fuck, Andrew Dice Clay said we're going to I war. I would. Oh, Here's, no! Actually, this is how you're... This is where I big disagree with you. So there's two people, right? There's Brad Pitt. He's the serious actor. He's in the serious movies. Oh, you're about to pull some yeah, highfalutin. Yeah. Think I about know it. more than you. No, Ooh, yeah, no you that's are. not what I'm saying. You're always trying to do this. Run it up. Just why listen do you, to, Why do you not listen to Brad Pitt over here? Listen to what I'm saying. Yep. And stop trying to mm-hmm. look at the look on this guy's face. Glad. I think you're an only child sometimes. I know what First you're going to say already. What am I going to say? I guarantee you got it wrong. Oh, man, you're going to let me take your scene like that? Say it. Well, we don't listen to Brad Pitt. We listen to Andrew Dice Clay because Brad Pitt's a trained actor and he's a good actor. So if he says something, the government's probably in his back pocket telling him what to say. But Andrew Dice Clay, he's got no reason to lie because he's not a professional actor. Wow. He got it wrong again, folks. Of course, I knew he was going to say something wrong. Not even close to what I was going to say. I'm trying to say something to you. I'm not trying to say the weird shit you're thinking about. I'm trying to say something else. So you got two people. You got the serious actor, the guy who is not joking, right? And then you got the jokey guy, the joke, as you call him, the comedian. He's always joking. So then something happens. A nuke, hypothetically, a nuke hits whatever. Something serious is going on. So then now you got two people talking. Brad Pitt, he's up there talking. Serious, like always. Hey, guys. Just so you know, still some serious stuff. Then you got the jokey guy who's always joking, but now he's being serious. Something's different now. Why is the jokey guy not joking? This is weird. If the jokey guy is not joking, maybe I should start listening. If the guy who's never joking is still being serious, that's just day, Monday. That's Tuesday. That's Wednesday. That's fucking normal. If the funny guy, if Chappelle's like, ho, 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 the uh, uh, family, talking some real shit, and then he's like, no, but seriously, guys, have you seen what's going on? You're going to listen to the comedian because he's actually being serious. So I think there is a point, and that's not the point you're making. I think it's a different point. So that's my point. And I'm done, and you can respond or whatever. But I think, yeah, that's a good point. Okay. Understandable, and I agree to an extent, but I don't think that's true because comedians talk all the time on social media, and no one the only comedian that's ever broken the barrier and actually gone further into it and people kind of believed was Cat. Okay, but, but you're comedians forgetting about old talk comedians. about economics and society and war and bullshit all the time. Who and Chappelle, for one. No one fucking listens to Chappelle. He's in no, and out. No, people do listen he's, to Chappelle. He, he's, he's a flash in the pan when he talks about that shit. Cat Williams people still talk about. But Chappelle, he's talking about, oh, who cares about trans and da 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 And it's like making news for like a weekend. And then it's done. But Cat is still being talked about from his one episode on Shannon Sharp. Yeah, and Podcast. he's a comedian. Yeah, one time. Exactly. One so, time. My, 
So you're proving, you got, my, you're proving you got, my point. You got Matthew McConaughey. When the McConaughey, comedian gets serious. You got Matthew McConaughey talking about shit. And people are like, yeah. No one gives a shit about what Matthew McConaughey is what saying. What do you mean? Okay, okay. Let's just ask. He's a spokesperson for pretty much anything that comes exactly. out of Exactly. He's a show. And everyone listens to him. And we like him. But the point is, he's picking his nose and saying, ooh, Lincoln. But who do you, th- who do you listen to more? You just, you Cat just, Williams you just or proved Matthew my point. You just proved my point. People You're, listen to Matthew McConaughey way more. Cat they said don't. one. They Cat don't. had one interview one and time. And we're ever. still talking about it. Yeah, because he you exposed d- and, all the nonsense. Okay, but but you're just but but my point is when a comedian starts getting when a jokey guy stops joking, people listen. When a guy who's not joking continues to not joke, it's it's the same shit. And you proved my point because you just said Where's Jim we're Carrey? still talking about Cat Williams. Where's Jim Carrey? He's not talking serious shit. He's painting in a in a room somewhere. When he was talking not serious shit, it. why is no one talking about it anymore? They were. They were. They but said he was crazy. Because he stopped talking. Uh, okay. They said he was crazy when he talked serious, huh? Oh. Well, the jokey guy talking serious is crazy. The serious guy talking serious is someone to listen to. So you might as well. So you're basically saying, uh, let's agree with the narrative. Because there it is. That's what I was talking about the whole time. See, we got there. We got there. You listen to the narrative. You don't listen to the. We got to think against the narrative. No. All I'm saying is you take the serious guy serious, and the jokey guy might break through a couple times. That's all I'm saying. And I disagree. Because you're the jokey guy. Because w- when you I resonate with listen. you resonate with the jokey guy. Of course, you don't understand the jokey guy. He's a joke. Exactly. You don't understand the jokey guy. You don't understand the jokey guy. What do you think is behind all these jokes? Trauma. No, the now, truth. Tell me that's not a fucking tr- tell truth. Tell me that's not the truth, bro. Behind the, behind the jokes are is not trauma? the truth. The truth is behind the joke. You say you make a joke about something that you don't want to say. Mm. It's like, yo. You could be the McConaughey. According to you, McConaughey is saying all this stuff and people listening. Well, first of all, I would I would ask you, what is he saying and who's listening? What is he saying? He's What's his big politics, message? He's talking about economy. Sure. He's talking about immigrants what and is taxes. His, what is his point of view? He follows the basically the entire ideology of the Texas government to a T and speaks on it. So everything Meaning we agree what? on, immigration... The economy, society as a whole, a and godless culture. And where can I find these videos of McConaughey? On his Instagram. And you're telling me that the whole world is listening to McConaughey. Yeah. And I say, that's bullshit. They're listening to Cat Williams. Nobody is talking right. about McConaughey. You've got this little story about McConaughey's the guy or whatever. Nobody's talking about him. Because he's not saying anything Insane like Cat Williams. Insane. You know who else they talk about? Orlando Brown. And you know what he says? He dum dilly sum scum with a, an actor. And they're like, oh shit, the guy from That So Raven is spitting facts. Because okay. it's fucking wild. Of course they're talking about it. No shit. They talk about Epstein's list because it's crazy. They talk about Diddy because it's fucking insane. McConaughey's talking about like immigration and economics. And the of whole course world, it's not crazy. And the whole world is stopping to listen to but I can't go I can't walk down the street without someone saying, Did you hear that McConaughey interview? They talked about Ted everywhere Bundy I go. for a long time I know, too. Oh, I know. Everywhere crazy I go. It's shit. McConaughey. Yeah, it's like McConaughey this, McConaughey that. It's everywhere I go. So no, people it's aren't talk- not that. So it's if Cat the Williams. general population it's- isn't talking about it, it couldn't be well, right. You're, you're argu- oh no. Well, you're, no, you're going against your own argument. How? You're telling me that nobody cares about comedians because they're talking all about a joke. one guy who did well. I'm talking about like literally everyone who talks, everyone in power is serious that people listen to. This is why we got to keep this guy off the weed. Everyone in power is serious, right? Is there a jokey joke that's talking about like the way we got to change the world? Is there a jokey joke beside Kate Williams? Is there a jokey joke talking about that that everyone's talking about? Oh, uh, yeah. Who? Every, a lot of a people. A jokey talk- joke. Name a jokey joke. Go ahead. First of all, these, this idea of this jokey comedian. joke Name only comedian. exists in the world of Name a comedian. This, uh, closed-minded, Name weird a comedian world that you live in. who is blowing the top off the world because they're talking I about I just shit. said Cat Williams. Beside Cat. 
Oh, he doesn't count. Because that's one. Oh, he doesn't count. One. The biggest one in the world right now doesn't count one. because one. The, the guy you that's said, doing it. You said the thing happens constantly. If it happened once, I didn't say then the constantly. rule, right? Uh, okay. The rule, Have you ever heard the of exception to the rule right, sure, cannot sure, sure. be the rule. So, so we're, we'll talk about the history of comedians because we're going to talk about that. Dane Cook ever did it? We're talking about comedian. No, nah, not not mm. joke. Have you heard of someone named George Carlin before? Yeah. Have you heard of Bill Hicks before? No. Do you understand? I mean, George Carlin <sighs> talked about the shit in his stand up. Yeah. But that didn't blow that that didn't blow roofs People off anything. People still talk about that to this day. Ooh, I've never heard. I haven't even heard someone talk about George Carlin in my life beside you and like one of Because the you're not aware doesn't mean it's not happening. Oh, so oh. because people aren't talking about it on the streets every day means that it's still relevant, is what you're saying. So because people aren't talking about Matthew McConaughey, what exactly on the streets, is your argument right because now? Because people aren't talking about Matthew McConaughey on the streets, nobody means talk- that it's your still relevant. Is so stupid. You're, you're, so George Carlin, no one talks about, right? The first time I heard that's the words, true. The first time I heard the words George and Carlin, you've following never each even other, seen a movie. I have, I have. The first time I heard about George and Carlin following each other, aside from this, this one guy. time. Was in 2014. And what's your point? So uh, no one an talks ostrich about hasn't seen the sun in 10 years because they're looking at the, the fucking sand. Does that mean anything? No, it doesn't mean anything. It just means you're looking at the sand so and that's your problem. It doesn't have anything to do with anything about else. It doesn't mean it's not relevant is what you're saying. No, I, I brought up Cat Williams because your big thing was no one's talking about these comedians. They're a bunch of jokes. And yeah, then I say, what about Cat about Williams? Serious shit. And then we bring up jokes. Cat, and then we bring up Cat Williams. One person, the exception to the rule. We're talking about the Cat Williams thing, which is like an event yeah, of the our lifetime. Exception lifetimes. to the rule, correct. And he's the person that you're saying can't exist. And and for some reason, this big right in your face thing that's happening is like ah, that's just an exception. The biggest exception of all time. I can't. And you, I can't see it. Forget about. Forget about him. Let's look over there. And then you look at Chappelle or something, and it's like he's talking about trans stuff. Ah, that doesn't count. He's just talking about trans stuff. Oh, you know, like what? What I'm saying because is- you think your whole point is comedians are jokes, so whatever they say doesn't matter. So anything that you say about comedians is invalid because no. you don't respect their all, voice. All I'm saying so is that's this: like, stupid. You are saying that the thing exists because. A couple people have broken through and done it. I'm saying the thing exists, but it's not prevalent and really doesn't matter because only a couple people have done it. And I'll just say you're totally wrong. Chappelle, Cat Williams, and George Carlin doesn't count at all. And how about just regular comedians? Who? That you don't know. They don't matter then. So just because they don't matter to you means so they don't com- exist. No, so stop, where, where, stop, where stop. Are you, we're you're using the word comedian loosely then. People that do stand-up comedy. That, so Yeah, so just like some random schmuck that so goes, they don't to the, goes to the nearest bar and does stand-up yeah. because he's drunk? Yeah. Then yes, you're right. Then yes, you're right. If we're going to use the word comedian loosely, then yes, you're A right. Comic, but if we're talking who, about someone who's on Netflix, YouTube, HBO, you're wrong. If you're going to talk about Netflix, YouTube, HBO, you're going to have to talk about... The system, the people that stop people from getting on there. So we're Things talking that about you're not. You can't talk about YouTube and Facebook and Netflix without talking about censorship and the people that control the media. You yeah, can't just Cat, you can't Williams have that. Is, Cat Williams is on HBO, is he not? I don't know. Is he? Yeah, he is. Okay, and and he's on Netflix, is he not? I I don't know. He's maybe, not. Okay, I don't he know. is. Yes, and he's who we're talking about. Okay, so it exists. So but if according you're to your own good, logic, if you're that good, according to your own logic, correct. That's the because exception. Because it makes no so, sense. So we correct. can't count it. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm with you 100 percent here. I'm with you 100 percent here. But if well, we're talking not. about random guys who think they're funny and go do stand up at a bar close to their house, then yes, people that are comedians can say whatever the fuck they want. But if we're talking about big names, so what is your then point no. exactly? Comedians can't be taken seriously in that effect. Guys, uh, oh, we go. we're never going to agree on this. This guy's clearly just, you know, wrong, wrong. Right. And I he thinks I'm wrong. So we both think each other are wrong. I think I'm right. He thinks he's right. Mm. Let's just move on because we've been talking about this for 10 hours, basically. We're going in on this, actually. This that is what happens fast. when we drink a little bit and smoke a little bit. See, we should Reminiscent be Reminiscent of episode three. Yeah. 
apparently this guy. Anyway, he's wrong. But 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 if I'm wrong, which I'm not, tell me. All, tell all me. I want though, if if in fact someone, which we're I'm know sure, gonna be, goes in the comments and proves me wrong or says they disagree, all that I want is a list of he five, needs a list five comedians who are big name comedians who have spoken about political issues and are known for it. Steve like Cat Harvey. Williams. Cat Williams. There's two right there. Steve Harvey's on the list. Well, he's t- well he talks about it. Talks oh. about the shit that they let him talk about. He doesn't talk about anything big. Oh, so now that's... Well, he's, he's, What's he, he talk about, count. Steve? Uh, what's Steve Harvey he's, talk about? He supports Trump. <laughs> that's it? That's all you got? I mean, that's something. That's one thing. He spoke against the system. He agrees with Trump. The funny, and, and anyone here's, with a brain because Biden's retarded. See, you don't understand the way you even like uh, approach an argument. So you ask me a question like, hey, who's a person? So I'm like, I don't know, Steve Harvey. And then you're like, oh, that doesn't count. What did he say? And I go, and then, so loose. No, pause. And then, and then I go, okay. Then you ask me another question. Well, what did he say? I go, okay, well, here you go. He said Trump. Oh, one thing? Only one thing? It's like, well, you only asked me one thing. What am I going to give him? A, give you a list? Like, it's weird that you like ask me a question like, hey, mm-hmm. who's a person? I give you a name. What did he say? I give you a thing. And you say, oh, you only got one thing. It's like, well, you only asked me one thing. So Steve Harvey. Why did your mind go there? Steve Harvey you is understand? blowing the lid I'm not a big off, Steve Harvey of, fan, off of society and social media because he agrees with Trump. No. Well, goddamn, if that ain't the comedian that changed the world, huh? The point is. That's your the, best you no, got? Your Steve point, Harvey no, your and Trump? Your stupid ass point. All I'm saying is if you got something, no, make it no, big. No, no, no. Don't make it your small. Your dumb ass Who's point. a person? Bob. Well, shit, you got me there. Anyway. The fuck? Okay. Anyway, your whole dumb ass point is no one listens to comedians because they're all listening to you. Yes. Okay, I'm not a comedian. I'm just a podcast guy. Anyway. No one listens to comedians because they're all jokes. And I'm like, okay, well, people listen to Chappelle. People listen to Steve Harvey. People listen to George Carlin. People listen right now in this very moment to Cat Williams or, you know, whoever. Uh, you listen to podcasts of comedians. You're a big Chris D'Elia, weird person that you like, fan. And it's like, okay, like, people do. So, like, your whole argument that, like, comedians' I opinions. listen to Chris D'Elia because he's like, funny, what? not because he's, he's telling me who to vote for. Just because you don't understand that, like, comedians can also have serious thoughts, that's of course fine. they can. That's not, that's fine. Of course they can. But the point is, your your whole argument is invalidated by the fact that Cat Williams and what's happening with him exists. Your whole point is that what he's doing can't happen, but we're seeing it happen. So you can tell me about it's rare and blah 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 blah, but we're seeing it happen. So that's where you drop the mic. He's doing it. A funny guy started not being funny. And now people are listening. And you can say that they're not, but they are. And that's what it is. Okay. So. Okay. That's tarot some shit. Fucking. This is why. Where's the tarot? Mike shouldn't drink. This is why. Where's the making me think I shouldn't drink. Because I fed him more drinks and he's used to drinking and he's probably being this you know what's the word combative combative because of the alcohol and i'm realizing for myself ooh, this is what happens with me perhaps perhaps lessons being learned very interesting all right he's wrong we can actually do terror with this is that an uno duck yeah okay Okay. Because we kind of have, in a way, it, it it could work, because we have like water, we have like like water, earth, fire. Oh, there's only three. Three yellow. Oh yeah. So and this would be air, I guess. I guess. Right? Would you agree? Mm-hmm. And then the numbers are the numbers, and then, I mean, the reverse, the draw two, the wild. I mean, everything is tarot. We can make it work. Let's do it. Let's fucking do it. This is going to be epic. I'm excited to see how this goes. Guess what card? 
no, first of all, let's let's go back to the social security thing though, because obviously, I am I'm a very trusting person, right? I tell truths, and when I have friends, I think that they tell me the truths, but sometimes they lie to me just like for a joke or whatever, and I believe them. So, like when you told me to think about you know the Turkish thing. Obviously, I didn't really get your social right, and that was a big joke. So you'll admit that now, right? What are you talking about? Remember I was faking your social security number earlier, and you were like, oh, you got it right. Obviously, I didn't get it right. So tell the people so they don't start trying to get your social. You don't remember this? No. This guy's twisted up. Remember I was like faking your social? Today? Yes, on on the thing. And you're like, oh, you got it right. On, on this? <laughs> yeah. This is how it feels. That. This is how it feels to be uh under the influence on the podcast. How does it feel? Damn. It's not good, is it? You're serious? Yeah. I mean I can't even trust you now. You're you're lying. You don't remember that? I was joking around. My social. What are you talking about? We were talking about like stealing your identity or something, and I started oh, reverse. And I started like jokingly Wild. saying what your <laughs> What your social was, and then you were like lying, of course. But you were like, "Oh my God, that was it! How did you get? How did you know, or whatever?" You don't remember that, huh? No. Put in the comments, guys. Did Damn, that, that shit's strong. I know, right? Jesus. Here, why don't you hold this? Yeah. How do I feel? I feel fantastic. I'm better with two. I'm gonna double mic this shit. Oh, the Xbox turned on. It's the the bubble heard you talking earlier. It knows what's up. It knows what's up. The Xbox just like did a little beep, and he's got the AT and T internet. So the AT and T internet air is what it's called. He's got the little bubble sitting here, and he's been talking about the bubble how bad it was. And then he said the Xbox doesn't connect, but the Xbox just turned on. So the Xbox heard, and the bubble heard. And they they work together. They with their powers combined, <laughs> they were able to turn on. Is that a Nintendo sixty four controller? Yes, it is actually, Damn. because I bought the um, switch that's down there that you can maybe see. It hasn't been used in a very long time, probably mm. at least two years. Gotcha. Um, I'm a big Super Smash Brothers fan. That I knew. Um, I'm a big smasher. I'm, um, I started with, uh, well, I started with the original. We have to pause for a second. Uh, Super Smash Brothers is amazing, right? I started mm-hmm. with the, you know, what Super Smash N64 version. Or is that the no, one this Mario is fighting. Around? Oh no, 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 this is where Mario is fighting Yoshi, who's fighting, you know, Ness. Is that who's the one? Fighting is it like a Wario. free world kind of thing? It's like a fighting game. It's like a you have the whole screen. You're jumping around, punching each other. Oh, you're just like flat two D. Yeah, do you remember? Do you remember that one Mario game that was like kind of like Free World? Uh, Mario sixty four, probably. Was that what it's called? Yeah, that yeah, was a Mario I had. Around. Where you could run around, Woo-hoo! you could get on penguins, you could jump up, ah, shit, and yeah. then you go into the fight scenes. Hell yes, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, was, that was the first one I yes. ever did. And I loved. That it. That was great. Wow, that was your first Mario. Yep. Damn, N sixty four. That's insane because that's like one of the best ones, but it's like so different than the old ones. Mm-hmm. It's when they oh. upped the ante. I can think. I I can. You jumped into the, into the paintings and every. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so that was good. a shit. You I remember I was. I was like eight years old doing that with my brothers. <laughs> we only were allowed so to play it Sunday good. mornings. That's it. Oh yeah, the rules mm-hmm. per week and everything. Oh my god. Yeah. I got that. Yeah, that was. I got that system when. Um, like, I got Atari when that system came out. Atari. That's before my time. That's before my time, too. Oh, my it? mom was so anti-video games that she wouldn't let me have the N64 or even the Super Nintendo or even the Nintendo. Really? She only lets you do Atari? And I'm like, please, can I get the N64? Everyone's playing GoldenEye. Oh, my da-da, da-da. God. And I'm over yeah. it. And then she's like, no, it's bad for you. Technically, she was right, I guess. But she was also, like, making everything she could do, not on purpose, but, like, to make me an outcast from everyone at school. Mm-hmm. Like, everything. Not on purpose, but, like, you know, no dad, whatever. 
but like she did that on purpose. Yeah, that wasn't all her, but you know she was part of it. But she could have made the guy pay at least some child support or something. I mean, what the fuck? Is that? But anyway, no, you know he was a douchebag. But like, there was already that. But then it was like, you know, I couldn't wear jeans to school. So I have to wear bugle boys, and everyone else is wearing jeans. So they're like, they're making boy. fun of me, like all, like nerdy pants, like just nerdy ass. What were they like dress pants? They were like dress pants with the pockets, and they were like like I feel like they had like a tight bottom, like a like joggers, joggers. But before joggers were popular, they were not cool. Okay, bugle boys were not popular at all. They were like Walmart. Pants. Why'd she make you wear those? Because she was like. You should look nice when you go to school. And I'm like, Mom, no one's looking nice. Like, you're making me look stupid. And she's like, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to church here. And she's like, well, you should look the same at church as at school, basically. She was completely Damn. had no idea what was going on. Years later, I, I bitched to her. I'm like, Mom, you you, meet, you fucked me over. And she's like, I didn't know that. I, go, I told you all the time. We went to like a psychiatrist or like a family social worker, and I would yeah. tell him like, "What the fuck? He's the only reason I got to wear jeans to school." Really? So there was like stuff like that, or it's like everyone's playing S sixty four, and I'm over here just like I don't know, I I can't join the conversation or anything, so I'm just like, mm-hmm. I play Pac Man or like, internet like you know we didn't have cable, so it, like wrestling was really popular. Everyone's talking about wrestling. Same thing. I'm just like, you know, listening. I can't. Mm-hmm. I can't say anything unless I'm gonna just be fake. I'm not mm-hmm. gonna do that. So I'm just gonna like sit there, you know. So anyway, I forget what the whole point of that was, but oh yeah. So then, the only reason I got the Atari was because my next door neighbor, her son, who was like you know a little out there anyway, he got rid of it and gave it to me as a Christmas present. So when everyone else nice. was playing Goldeneye, I literally, no joke, was playing. The game where you're like Pitfall, it's called. Oh, I where, love where Pitfall. You're jumping was on great. top of the alligators. Pitfall and was great. It was a good game. Uh, Space Invaders, you know, poo, poo, poo. Like, I was getting it. I remember Dig Dug. I love Dig Ooh, Dug. Ooh, I don't know that one, but it sounds pretty cool. Dig Dug is the one where you start at the top and you're like in a spaceman uh, costume or whatever. Oh. And then you got to dig down to like oh, yes. the, uh, what were they? Like little like you get rocks, treasures you type ki- things. You got to kill the dragons. Oh yeah! And when you go Ooh, to like that's good. the dragon, like the, there'd be like a little hole for the dragon. You go down to the dragon, and the dragon blows fire. So you got to time uh-huh. it so you get in there, and then you got to like pump the dragon with air and blow it up before it before it fly, flame uh-huh. shoots fire at you. And you could use like the rocks. Like if you time it right, you could use a rock, and the rock will drop on the dragon because okay. it'll wiggle for a minute and then drop. So yeah. you can time that. Um, and then the last dragon you always got to get. But the last dragons, like, uh, they also can, like, go through the dirt. So, like, they'll, oh, the dragons. Su- they'll switch to, like, different holes. And the last dragon will always f- go to the top as a ghost, come out on the top, and, and then try to run you? away. Oh. And you got to try and beat it to the top and hit it before oh, it runs away. Oh, that's sneaky. It was a great game. Okay. I loved it. That and Pac-Man were the two that I killed. Okay. That reminds me, we don't go too much more into this, but that reminds me of another computer game called Mousetrap. Do you know that one? Mm-hmm. It was kind of probably similar to the Dragon one, where you're just like on like a little screen, and there's like little blocks, basically. And like you're up, there's like little cats running around trying to kill you, and you're like the mouse trying to get the cheese or whatever. Mm-hmm. But you're like inside this block thing, where like when you move up, like like the blocks go up. So you're like creating like, an empty hole where you mm. can go so like you're pushing it and what you're trying to do is like see the mouse like the, the, the cat's jumping around here so like you move up the blocks and you kind of like trap the mouse or trap the rat mm. and like you and if you smush the block the blocks up and you like get the cat into like this one little block it'll turn into a piece of cheese and then you push it and uh. you get the cheese so i don't know that's all it was but it was super super basic so yeah the whole point was you know, I was playing that during the N64 days, and um, this podcast has been completely wild, huh? The biggest debate of all time. Absolutely. About, I mean. About actors. The fact this guy just doesn't get it. Crazy. So what's the week looking like, though? All right, but when we're going to do an Uno one, too. An this is going to be pull. fire. So I think we should each pull one since we got, ooh, interesting. Oh, that's a crazy card. Maybe that's just it. I think that's just it. 
All right. So we got the zero, the O. And that's the of, air. Of wands. Or of, of air, of uh, of swords. It's almost like the, the page zero of swords. swords. Is it the page, would you say? Yeah, that'd be the page. So it's like the new idea card. <laughs> it <Rook>. is. <laughs> and it's like it comes from nowhere. It's like a z- it's like where's it coming from? It's like there's no p- there's no p- entry point. We so can't. what's that mean for the week? It means there's going to be this like unexpected thought that's going to just come down and you're going to be like, "Oh, <laughs> Oh wow! <laughs> oh, I didn't expect that. Oh, is that a new idea? Another one? You might get more than one. Because also, since we're using the the new deck, <laughs> the Uno deck, mm-hmm. technically, I don't know if you notice here. There's not. There's yes. There's the big O, but there's also a couple other O's here too. So, so not only will you have one good big great idea, there might be a couple others. And if you think about this, the human human body and like the nucleus of a cell it almost looks like these are electrons circling the nucleus of the idea if you were imagining these spinning you know this would be the nucleus Mm -hmm. you know and the electrons on the outside Mm -hmm. so it's like maybe you'll have this this monster oh but then these other ideas are going to start kind of like joining it. You're going to magnetize. So if you find this new idea and you really like hone in on it, supporting ideas are going to start like encircling you. Ooh. So. Uno, this Uno poll is actually pretty fucking good. It's pretty good. So we'll do another one next week, guys. And put in the comments, please, on a scale of 1 to 10, does this guy know anything about acting? So sad.